Yo, yo, what's up? Raj coming at y'all. Y'all know I normally don't get down on social media. Definitely not Facebook. And for some reason, they kept trying to send me over to Facebook. We ain't doing no Facebook. We ain't getting down Facebook. We taking a break from Facebook. But we can ready to get out. And we can ready to step into this place that we call Bloomingdale's. I'm going to put my glasses on. Got my wallet in my pocket. Mm-hmm. Not that I need it. Let me going to go ahead and jump up in here and see what's popping. They say I got a poor connection, which I'm not surprised because sometimes T-Mobile is uh, booty. What's going on, 3A, y'all? I can't see you. But, you know, I can't be getting into that trying to see because I just want to do this real quick. Hope y'all had a good day. I'm just getting off work. And I got a call. He was like, yo, my man Danny from Bloomy he said, I got something for you. Come on up. Check it out. Ask for Dawn. And uh, let's pop it off. <coughs> I was like, all right, bet. So instead of me going home, I came straight up here from work. What's going on? What's going on, y'all? I came straight up here from work. And you would think that it's Christmas already. We're going to go back here and see if we can catch up with Dawn so we don't have no problems. I should have brought some paper in here, but you'll be all right. I'll find me a nice couple of thick pieces of paper on the way back here. What's going on, D? Let's see if we can find Dawn. We'll be all right. How you doing? Excuse me. Hi. I'm looking for Dawn. Yeah, she's right up there. That's Dawn? Okay, okay. Good, good, good. And why am I here? Because I'm trying to break some new news. You know what the new news is? The new news is this. The greatest showman. So I'd like to know that, uh, basically we get ready to check it out. So we're going to go ahead and... I'm doing well. How about you? Good. Can I help you find something? I'm waiting for Dawn when she's done. Okay, no problem. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, so basically what we're going to do is, uh, so it's popping right there. So let's go ahead on the spray this and smell it. All right, this is called The Greatest Showman. That's what's popping, cuz. This is an exclusive first sniff of the greatest showman. What do you say? She loves which one? She loves the greatest showman because this just came out. So uh, I haven't seen nobody even talk about the greatest showman uh, that I know of. This is this is uh, very very new, like uh, like last week. But uh, it's all good. How y'all doing? How you feel? I can't see all the names, right? But Y'all know I'm here with you. Yeah, this is tight. This is totally different. How you doing? Hi. Oh, good, good, good. Danny said you have something for me. I'm Raj. Oh, okay. Well, what do I have for you? You have a sample of The Greatest Showman for me. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. All right, all right. So I have my sample here. And we're gonna put something on my, uh, on my on my on my hand here, <laughs> playing dumb and all. What you say? Yeah, I mean she loves the one, but you pretending you don't know. I don't know. I ain't know she even knew about it. In fact, I looked it up on um, I looked it up on YouTube. I didn't see anybody talking about the Greatest Showman, cause I've been waiting for this sample forever. So, it's possible she had it. I have no idea. Uh, it smells good. It doesn't smell like anything super groundbreaking, though. I'm not smelling anything like uh, Shalom, Shalom, Jay. Uh, 285, the same as the rest of them. And then we have this one here. Y'all know what this one is. This is H001. <laughs> My man, funny. Tell me, yeah, you know Tiff likes that. I don't even keep up with Tiff like that. But here we go. If she like it, did she buy it? Because it's $285. So, I don't know. Between the two, between um, The Greatest Showman and uh, 
in 001. Look, man, let me tell you the truth. I don't have anything against Tiff. Tiff. Tiff does her thing, I do my thing. You know what I mean? She New York, I'm Philly New York. And, and, and it's all good, man. <laughs> you stupid, cuz. You stupid. Yo. I mean, it smells good. The question is, is it, is it, is it, is it $310 good? And see, and that's the question right there. I don't know. They kind of like cloves, yo. This one. It's just that the, the Grady Showman has like a green, green woody thing. It's different out of Gourmand. And you know H O one. You know what that is. This is caramel sweetness. You know what I'm saying? It all depends. Well, it is. I mean, look, I spent three hundred dollars on something hot. Like I spent three hundred dollars on a Roger, which I did. I got, a, I got pure home. I got Creation E pure home. So I spent three hundred twenty-five dollars for that. You know, but um, I don't know. The way you got to make this work for you, you got to wait till they had like the points or something like that, and you use your you use your credit card. So if you use your Bloomingdale's card, they give you like a certain points, and you take the points and use them towards something else. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I gotta do a look. I, I, ain't, I ain't trying to brag, but I gotta do a look at my cage. My cage should be enough to impress anybody. I don't have to buy anything. That's right. I'm definitely not rich. You're absolutely right about that. I just got off work, so if I was rich, I would not be working. That's not how it goes, right? Like that, like a gun release. I'm getting reality of it is, is that this is a good piece, but just like um, H O O one, I'm not spending three hundred, three hundred dollars for it. I, I just don't think that uh, I just don't think that's that's what I would spend on this. I mean, for three hundred dollars, I can get me two, two straight fifty mils. You know what I'm saying? Let me turn around. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, I can, get, I can get I can get two good fifty mils or something. You know what I mean, I go straight to Barreto or I will go straight to Lalabo. Now, I mean, we got the Clive Christians right here. Y'all know I always show y'all them Clives. Shit was popping off with them Clives, man. Make want to pop off one of them bad boys right there, too. I got to call my Dame, my man Dame, up real quick. He had me. I told him I got to call him back. But, uh, again, she said she loves it because, you know, some people, just, some people just love every fragrance. Did she say she, did she say she loved um, does she love <laughs> the greatest showman? Oh, do you show? Did she say the greatest show woman? Because you know there's another one uh, made for women. So did she love that, or did she? Because I, you know, I don't love fragrances. Them joints either banging. The Labo 13 is the worst juice ever. Ah, <laughs> uh, holla at your boy. You know what, I mean? And, and that would be one of them things that I would definitely consider somebody saying to me, but <laughs> all I can say is the reaction I get from the females, because it might be the worst, but they like it, so pff, I'm good with it, because right, here's the other one. I think the woman is the greatest show woman. Y'all want to see it? That's the greatest show woman. I don't know if they have a test route for that, though. So that's the greatest show woman joint. Let me see if they have it down there. I don't think they have it. I don't think they have that, that sample out. Oh, no, this is still the show, man. Yeah. 
You know what? The more I smell these two, the more they kind of almost smell the same. Ah, uh, Tiff. All right. I'm going to pretend Tiff is standing there, okay? Let, let, let's, let's do this. I'm a, and I'm going to walk. Can y'all can y'all close your eyes? Can y'all? I want y'all to hold your ears while I'm talking to Tiff. And since I'm from Philly, and she's from NY, I'm cool with NY like that. NY is like my second home. In fact, after I get this Grammy, I'm just going to get me a place up there. How about that? Or, you know, if y'all want to catch up with me, I'll be up there January 28th at Madison Square Garden for the Grammys. All right, now, that's enough of that. Enough advertising for Roger Real Deep Cool. Tiff, listen, listen, babe. You're cool, sis. I like you. I like what you, I like what you do for the community, for the people that you cater to. My opinion is, being a beautiful woman that you are, you have to pretty much use what you got to get what you want. And that's good. You're supposed to. You're supposed to do that. But all I want you to do is concentrate more on being more in debt. Your beauty is going to show automatically. Baby, it's going to show. Your beauty is, is automatic like the Yami. Check out this collection, by the way. Check out the collection. This is a new uh, Joe Malone collections they have here. Get five in there. They getting ready. They getting ready for Christmas. Check this out. They definitely getting ready. So anyway, back to you, Miss Tiff. So look at this. Let it do what it do. You ain't got to work too hard. You really don't. It ain't that hard to work. You know what I mean? Just make sure you're serious about what you're doing. Cause I want you to know that. How you doing? Good, how are you today? Good, good. This is here. No, no, I'm fine. I'm very familiar with Joe Malone stuff. Let's check out these two new ones. This is a good one right here. This scent reminds me of Tiff. It does. Green almond and, and, and red currant. Because it's sweet, but yet again, it has like a slight... It has a slight... I don't know. Just a slight bitterness to it. Not saying because of the almond, probably the red currant, of course, is sweet, but the, the bitter, the almond, the green almond is not really sweet. It gives it that little twing and twang, but it's still a nice scent. And this orange bitters, you want to smell some orange? Woo! That's some orange bitter for you behind right there. Holler at your boy. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tiff came down to Philly. Tiff came to Willow Grove. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Linguini, the one of the homegirl in my robe. Well, that's what I do, man. If Tiff come to Philly, yo, you know what I mean? Even homeboy can come with her. If he want to escort her and make sure she's protected and she's safe around me, he can come too. I forgot his name. He said his name begin with an E or something like that. I forgot his name. You know, no disrespect. I just forgot his name. But if he want to come up here, both of them want to come and ride up here. We can, we can go around the city, man. I got, there's a lot of niche houses here. Not as many as New York. But we got some houses here that, you know, like my man Perfume. <laughs> uh, whatever, man, I'm all right, I'm all right. But we got, we got that house up here, you know, by uh, uh, Perfumology that has a zoologist and all that. You know what I'm saying? Most people don't have zoologists up there in New York. They don't have zoologists. They don't have um, uh, uh, olfactor studios. They don't have that. My man Nia got all of that. So we can come up down to Philly. Come down to Philly. Me, her, and E. And we'll do a video. And I'll take them around Philly and show them where the juice is. Then I'll take them to some pretty decent restaurants. You know, like we can go to this restaurant called Tamarindo's. And as long as you eat and you can drink margaritas. And we can get our, we can get our little swerve on a little bit. You know what I mean? Not, not, not too crazy. A little swerve on. You know what I mean? And you know, I got, I got that full series. So I can't, all of us can't get in my car because it's like a sports car. Uh, I mean, I can. You can get back there, but we don't want to do that. Yeah, man, I got this too. The Swati Ori. I'm selling this, by the way. Let me come down here and we can just powwow it out. Because all in all, man, I mean, I, th I think they're cool people. You know what I mean? Hold on. Hold on. Homegirl trying to give me my, 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 fragrance, my fragrance riding partner trying to holler at me, but I got declined right now. 
No, she's supposed to be celebrating Shabbat like me, which I'm kind of, I'm kind of slow on the Shabbat tonight. But um, because I want to come up here and get this sample. But again, this is to break the ice, and this is gonna be this. This is here. This is real talk. Real talk. I got nothing against Tiff. I think Tiff has a talent for what she does. I just don't think Tiff concentrates enough on getting to know the juices as a whole and, and not really being, and being favorable to everything. And I mean, I'm not talking about being favorable to everything you buy that, you know, even in samples. I mean, I smell some samples that smell horrible and I say, oh, that bad boy smell a like booty. You know, I, I keep it real when I get samples. So I just want, I want her to one time say, I don't like that. I don't think that's good. I, I, want, I want to know that she can get something from the house of Siage that costs eight hundred some dollars or three hundred some dollars, and she would she would pull out all stuff and say, "Look, I really don't like this." You know, same thing. I get I get juice from people. Josh sent me juice. You send me juice. They know what's up. If I don't like it, hang on. Ooh. Little shorties, you know I mean? Little shorties, how I'm trying to holler at the bar. You know what I mean? But I'm trying to concentrate. I don't usually, I don't usually have, I don't have females in my life around the holidays. <laughs> it's, it's strategic, yo. I ain't got no time for that. No, man. I ain't buying nobody no gifts. I gotta buy this juice. I think she said she didn't like Vert de Bois. She didn't like Vert de Bois? Oh, pff, we ain't gonna never get along on that. Cause she didn't want like, she didn't like VDD? No, you lied. Actually, I didn't like it the first time I smelled it. And now not only do I have a whole bottle, I got another, well, I get my man 10 mil, I got another 10 mil. Check this jacket out though. I like motorcycle jackets. This one's kind of tight. I wouldn't have this bag on it though. I mean, how you gonna have a motorcycle jacket with this, this plastic bag? 398, who is this by? That's some nice texture. I don't think it's a boss though. It's definitely not a Hugo Boss. They got like Hugo Boss here in Bloomingdale's. They got Bloomingdale's in New York, right? You know what I'm saying? We walk around, man. And then we'll walk back the other way. And ladies, if ladies watching. So again, to summarize this trip. The greatest showman smells pretty good. It's not totally opposite of, it's not totally opposite of 001, but it has that DNA of 001. It has the DNA. You know, I saw your comment real quick quick uh, MK, but then it disappeared. It came on, then it disappeared. Look, man, people got to do what they got to do. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not here to be the fragrance police. I'm, that's not my job. My job is not to be the fragrance police. My job is to say what's on my mind. A lot of people say what they're on their mind. As soon as somebody balk about what I say on my mind, I say, well, y'all want to talk about what's on your mind when you talk about Trump, right? So, everybody can have an opinion. Everybody can filter what they feel about, you know, a fragrance or, or food or a drink or shoes or whatever. I saw some guy looking at these shoes like these the other day. They was in. They wasn't in Bloomingdale's though. But he had the light sole. I'm like, cuz you got to put a dark sole. You got something this color. The ones he had had light sole on them. These are tight. Chelsea boots. Oh, they're for Bloomingdale. They made them for Bloomingdale. They're kind of tight. Y'all know I'm in the fashion too. I do a little fashion thing. All right. But yeah, man, they, they need to they need to do the new juices, man. You have to do that. I mean, we 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 in this thing to inform people about when a new juice come out. That's why I came straight from work and I came up here. You know. Hey, I was looking at these shoes, y'all. Should I get these right here? 
I should get some of these joints right here. They hot, guys. They hot. They're the new thing, man. I'm going to break these off. <laughs> yeah, y'all know about that. Y'all know about that. Because I'm going to change the, I'm changing the game with these right here. <laughs> they hot? They are hot. But nothing like the butters, baby. Nothing like the butters. See? No, I'm good, young man. I'm good. Indeed. Indeed. Just looking around. I ain't been here in a minute. Oh, these are pretty nice, too. Pretty Ted Baker's. All right. Ted Baker makes some nice pieces. I'm like a Magnani dude, though. I like my Magnani's. I like my Yanni's, yo. How was your boy? Bars. So, I mean, I don't want to keep yapping my mouth, man, because I, you know, I got stuff I got to do. I get home and drink some Yamin. I got to be in the work early tomorrow at like 7.30. And I got to call Dame. So, again, let me review real quick. I like to put smell goods in my pocket all over the place. That way I, I got I to gotta find out what they are if I'm being, having a name written on them. I like that. And again, these two are somewhat, they're not really, really the same, but they're not close from being, I don't know, they're just not close from not being the same, too, you know? They, it's the DNA. It's like you can smell, you can smell 001 in this showman. You can. There's no doubt about it. But it seems as though the showman goes more towards like a vetiver, maybe? It's going to some kind of vetiver or maybe some cashmere and wood. But it still has that sweet DNA. I, I don't know. If I had, like I said, if I had to buy both of those, it depends on longevity. That's what that's going to be. Which one's going to last longer on my skin? If I'm going to spend $310, it's got to last on my skin forever, my friend. Me and Kevin Samuels are two different people when it comes to fashion. You know what I mean? Two different people. Like, see what I have on? This is what I wear to work. This is what I wear to work. I just chill. I wear to work. You know what I mean? Then I got on my fried duck boots. This is my work gear right here. Okay? Gotta have some fries. All right, so this is what I wore to work. See what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be that I'm not gonna be that 56 year old dude always trying to dress and put on suits and all that stuff. I don't get down like that. So me and Kevin Samuels are two totally different dudes. Um, you know, he he goes, he goes, he goes one way, I go another. I didn't even I never saw his video. I saw his intro for a video and I saw him talking to some people saying he was a fashion consultant. But uh I don't know. Oh oh one. Gonna put that on there. Let it air out. I'm gonna put the greatest showman on. Ain't it beautiful just to be here and just spraying? Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm just telling you, man, they they just they're close. Very close. You kind of looking at me funny like I, know I don't spend money up here. So I'm going to get ready to get out their way. My homeboy asked me the other day, he was like, yo, man, do you have any suits? I said, I don't have one suit. I'm not in the suits, man. I'm in the casual wear. I like to, I like to take casual wear 
and turn it into something different. You know what I mean? I like to wear jeans with everything. I got a lot of jeans. We have another, another situation here. I forgot about these. These are brand new. So we have a new line of Zegnas. So I'll be the first one to do an exclusive on the new Zegna line because they are exclusive to Bloomingdale's. And here we go. It's called the Elements of Man. This is his promotion. And basically what you have is, I smell two of these juices and I did like them. I did like them. One is called Integrity, Wisdom, Passion, Strength, and Talent. And it kind of reminded me of, um, it reminded me of uh, my man, Valor, Fortitude. Uh, what, what's my man's name? Uh, Robert, Robert, Robert Graham. Robert Graham, the same guy that uh, belt I'm wearing right there. Robert Graham. So anyway, so, so here we have five new ones from the Zegna line. So you got the regular Zegna line, Neroli, Italian Bergamot, Sicilian Mandarin, Flores, a uh, Florentine Iris, and the, the two that are the stars of this line up here is the Japanese Patchouli and Indonesian Oud. Those two right there, oh man, them drones are kind of like bangers. But here's the new line. We have Integrity, Wisdom, passion, strength, and talent. So what we're gonna do is, do I have my pen in my pocket? Because we are gonna mark these down. Okay, so we use the Zegna cards. I think I have a pen. If I don't, I'm gonna go over there and take one of their pens, because I can. But I thought I had a pen in my pocket, hold tight. Because this is what I do for the people. I mean, that's what we do for the people. Like me, that's what me. Y'all check out OG. All, OG is always in the store. OG be in the store, helping, doing, doing it for the people, man. So we're going to write these down, everything. Hold on. Back. Enough of me. Okay. I'm going to write these down. The new Zegnas. So it's going to be an exclusive. Now, I don't know. Somebody probably already talked about these before. Okay, so we have integrity. We're going to write that down. Integrity. Wisdom. You see me writing, right? Wisdom. Passion. I think I like passion. I think passion was one I liked. Strength and talent. I think maybe it was passion and talent. Were the ones I like. Okay. So now we have those. Here's the book. I want to take the book home, but I, I don't give Zegler that kind. Of I don't get Zegna that kind of that kind of uh, that kind of that kind of impression right now. So we're gonna spray talent, and here's the bottle. Okay, the bottles are nice. A nice solid top, a nice solid. Yeah, it's a pretty solid top. That's pretty cool. Now right, let's spray talent. Let's go. This talent. One. Okay. Same bottle, so the bottles didn't change color, so it's the same bottle. Next, we're gonna spray strength. Let's move talent out the way. We're gonna spray strength. I gotta try to get the top off. It, it was kind of hard to get that top off. I need some strength. <laughs> okay, the strength. Oh, strength got a little, little something to it. Next is passion. By the way, I think the price on these bottles, I think these are um, 50 mils. Look at the back, it even has a plate on the back and I guess it, it's reading, you can read it. Can y'all see it, it's focusing? Okay, so I guess everything, there's some more details. But I mean, see, I think the thing about this is though, I think they're putting so much, they putting a lot of, um, they putting a lot of attention to detail, but I think the juice smells kind of average. Okay, and this is, as you can see. That's what's up. Which Neiman y'all going to? Y'all going to King of Pressure Neiman's? That's one y'all going to? And next we're going to spray is Wisdom. 
I should have wisdom enough not to be in here. <laughs> hey, wisdom. And last but not least, it's going to be integrity. Oh, and Troy, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Neiman's got a lot of high-end stuff up in a... In a because I noticed if you go to like different Neiman's, different Neiman's have different like quality. Like if you go to Neiman's in Virginia and the Galleria, that Neiman's has like all the Roger Doves. I mean, all of the Roger Doves. All right, my first impression on the new Zegna line. My first impressions on the elements of a man line. Again, integrity. Turn this around. Wisdom, passion, strength, and talent. And they're all the same bottles. Let's go. Y'all ready? I'm going to go. I'm gonna, after I smell, I'm going to tell you which ones I like best. Just off the sniff off the card. Passion. Passion actually smells like something I already have, though. Passion smells very familiar. I can't pick up what this smells like. This smells like something I have already. I'll tell you what, it smells good, but it smells familiar. It smells good and smells familiar. Next, strength. All right, Smith, strength is definitely honey. It's definitely honey and strength. All right. Strength almost smells like pure Havan, but not as sweet or, or malt. It smells like a Terry Mugler. This smells like Terry Mugler right here. Strength. Talent. Talent is very green. It's probably very representative of Italian bergamot or Mediterranean uh, Neroli, to me, they kind of smell like your, your standard, your standard Neroli green bergamot. That's what's talent. And y'all know I don't like that. Next, wisdom. <sighs> wisdom and talent might as well be the same juice. Because they don't smell too far apart. Talent smells a little bit more woodier. But wisdom almost smells just like it. This must be a green one also. Yeah. Talent and wisdom, neither one of those are good for me. Integrity. All right, integrity is very woody. Smells like it has oud in it. Integrity definitely smells oudy, if you ask me. Yeah. So if, if you had from countdown from five to one, talent would be number five. Wisdom is number four. Passion is number three. Strength is number two because it's honey. And integrity is number one because I think it has oud in it. That's my top five for the new line of on first impressions element of the man by zegna and again these bottles are 200 i think the bottles are 200 dollars 220 i think for 50 mil which is kind of crazy for him to be asking that i, I don't know how he how he's asking for that I, I just don't think that he's in that level right now i don't think he's nowhere near that level to be asking that kind of money so let's see if i was kind of right on these notes let's see if these notes are in here all right, you ready? Let's see what we got. Okay, it's not really, okay, where's, okay, here we go, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, the one I like most is Integrity. Integrity, this is the one I like the most. This is my number one. And what we have, and this is uh, Permental Berries, P 
pink pepper spices, clary sage, green oats, amber, tonka beans. It's all even made uh, more potent by African geranium. So there's no oud in here, but I don't know, maybe the pepper spices and I don't know what came together to make it smell oudy, but tonka beans, amber and tonka beans, amber and tonka beans. That was my number one. Let's see what strength is, because like I said, strength to me, or wisdom, let's go wisdom. Wisdom is number four for me. And wisdom we have, again, I was definitely right with that. Citrus, lunar notes of Italian mandarin, and winter lemon, like I said. Uh, thistle peaks of green verbena, coriander leaves, fresh lavender entwined with abstract of neroli and central musk. So I hit that one right on the nose, because that's exactly what it smelled like. Okay, next. Passion, which is number three for me, which is that the one that smells like, um, Gosh, passion smells just like something. It's like he just ripped that one off, man. That one smells like something I had before. Let's see, or I still have. Okay, we have a labdanum, bay rum, and cognac warmed up with a steady flame. Exotic saffron, amber, and it's, it's, that's it. That's it. So, labdanum, bay rum, cognac, saffron, amber. And it smells just like, I'm telling you, man, this, this bad boy smells like something I smelled before, passion. But I really like it. I like it. It smells kind of smoky, too. It smells kind of smoky as well. All right. Strength. Strength is the other one I like. This is the one, to me, it smells like a... Uh, This, this smells like a, 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 a either pure malt or something like that. It smells, I know it got honey in it. This definitely has honey in it. I smelled that right from the door. Let's check it out. All right, the fourth within you. What do we have here? See, I can tell you by the notes, I'm telling you. Okay, I'm gonna read it from here. Tobacco leaves, gourmand notes of golden honey. I smelled that, ripe apricot. A uh, depth of argawood smoke penetrates the woven chamal, chain mile or whatever it is, of pine needles. Strength. I like strength. I like it. And that's because it's indeed, it's very familiar. It is definitely very familiar. So, um, and last but not least, it's probably going to be talent. And like I said, talent, let's see what talent has in it. Again, there's the bergamot. As I say, I smell that. Szechuan pepper, Haitian vetiver, black tea, patchouli, and a robust flame of rum, ambrox, and cedarwood. Well, I don't know where that came from because that's the one I least like. That's the one I definitely least like. I don't like this. It's okay, but it's not likable. It just reminded me of something else from his, his other line. Yeah. It's like the, the top three, like wisdom and passion and, and talent has this bergamot thing. You know, most of his fragrances are known for bergamot. He likes a lot of bergamot. Passion smells familiar. Strength smells familiar. Those two smells familiar. So if you had to buy one of these, and integrity smells different. This just smells different. If you had to buy one of these, I would say I would go with passion. If you're a honey, if you like honey, go with strength. That's that's the best I can go. You back again? <laughs> you back again, cuz momento? <laughs> you funny. Alright, so that's it. So I'm gonna put these in my pockets. So when I get home, I can smell them again. Yeah, I don't. Momento, stop playing yourself. You know that another 13 is the yeah mean. That another 13 is the busy ba 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 ba, guys. Don't play yourself, man. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself and to your friends. I mean, you better get that another 13. Your girl would definitely be like taking your bottle from you. Like, yo, stop playing. I need to have that. And in fact, the young lady that that I turned on to another 13, she's getting her own bottle because she found out it's coming to the United States. So she's going to get her own bottle of another 13. And it's actually coming here to King of Prussia. So it's going to be cool, but... That's the Zegna line. 
Okay. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm out. <laughs> Here are the boxes for that line. Just in case you can't see them. Okay. So there you go. I just gave you all a first impression of The Greatest Showman. East St. Rock came out with some new juice too, by the way. But you know, we don't mess around with designers. We only mess around with niche. So yeah, The Greatest Showman is pretty good. It just smells so much like H001 though. It truly does. I kind of want to go get that green apples and red currant. That's what I want to go get. I really think I do want to go get that. I just wish they had that in another size. They only had that in 100 mil. But if they had that in another size, that probably would be a buy right now. You know what I mean? Because I don't need that much. I just need one more. As y'all can see here, you got Robert Graham. And this right here, I think it's Fortitude. No, it's Valor. This is one I used to have. Fortitude. I mean, Valor, duh. And this right here is a. Uh, this is Fortitude. So it kind of reminds you, you know, what, what they just did with the strength and all that stuff. And then you hear right here, you have Courage. So it's kind of strange that here comes, here comes my man. Zegna and then he putting out some juice with like the same type of vibe. You know what I mean? That's kind of crazy Y'all got to get y'all nose on Elysium. When I saw this I thought it was Elysium But uh, y'all got to get y'all nose on Elysium by uh, Roger Not Roger really cool, but Roger Dove. Get your nose on that. Check that out Anything else over here y'all want me to smell? Anything over here? Because y'all are designers. I don't smell designers. I'm sorry. I'm bougie like that. But I am going to tell you though, which call is not bad. If you want to get into the Aqua de Palma, here's the leather, which is it's, it's not bad. But they got the two new ones out. I wonder what Tiff thinks about uh, Ombra. For Aqua de Palma. But then again, you know, she only do high-end fragrances. She probably won't do this because it's kind of cheap. Let's see. Ombra. No, I'm just kidding. She'll do this too. Ombra. Smells like smoky amber, oody amber. That's what it smells like. Right here we have, that's just oud. Myrrh is pretty good too. Myrrh is kind of good on the dry down. Between abano and, and, and myrrh, I like, I like the dry down on myrrh. I like the first hit of abano. You know what I'm saying? When you, put, when you first put abano on your skin, it's nice. But it doesn't dry down nice. But what you call it dries down really nice. And it's a bono right here. So so between the two, I mean they still can have that DNA of smelling like, you know, like, you know, they put the bergamot in the oud, they put the bergamot in the leather, they put the bergamot everywhere because that's their note. But I'm thinking that um sometimes you have to change the game with that. I need to get me some of uh, Mandolo di Cecilia again, because that's my favorite vanilla. Somebody asked me what was my favorite vanilla. Mandolo di Cecilia, oh my goodness. This, va this vanilla right here is off the chisane. I never saw this before. Cedro. That must be a new one. I didn't know they had new blue bottles. Let's see what this smells like. And now I have to go. I'm going to be out. I see Cedro the first thing I start thinking of cedar. Smells okay. Smells all right. It's your Aqua de Palma Freshy, but if you want a vanilla, if you want vanilla and almonds, because I got a lot of vanilla and almond fragrances. I'm telling you, I got a lot of vanilla and almond fragrances. Too many, kind of. Some almond is prevalent. Some of the vanillas are prevalent. But this right here, man, Dola de Cecilia, spread this on your bed sheets at night. Spread this on your pillow. Spray this on your comforter, spray this on your sheets, and then go to bed. You're going to sleep all night long when you spray this. Get you some of that. Believe me, you'll like it. You'll like it. You can't go wrong with it. All right, y'all, I'm out. 
I got to smell what I want to smell. I'm not overly impressed. I think it's a good offering. But I really think, first of all, they got the same color bottle as 001, which really was getting me, because you got the same color bottle. You would think they would have come up with a different bottle. What time is it? Because they're like, they're trying to close. No matter, like, I need to be out of here. But it's the same color bottle, so that, that's kinda, that kind of puzzles me that they did that. And that's why I think they both had the same DNA. They both had the same DNA if you really smell it. It's just like one goes a whole different way. Yeah, it does smell like root beer. It actually does. It actually does smell like root beer. So yeah, this goes one way. This, this goes gourmand or oriental. And this right here goes more towards the wood. So you got one, but they're the same. It's like the same bottle. And I just don't know why they didn't maybe do like a dark blue bottle. Because here's the other bottles right here. As you can see. Right? These are the other bottles. So they could at least made this new one a nice deep blue bottle. I would have made a nice deep blue type bottle. That would have been nice for the showman. But they didn't, so. Dignified is good too. It's a good vetiver. It's a good vetiver, but it's not the vetiver. All right? So I'm out, y'all. I gotta bounce. Go home and give me a couple glasses of Yami. I'm gonna go over here and see if I'm gonna buy this uh, Green almond and red currant. I think green almond and red currant is like 185, I think. I think that's what it is. I think it's a buck 85 or something like that. All right. Quick question. I know usually the Joe Malones are around 185. Is the green... Right. The clear ones are 130. Right, but what about the green almond and currant and the uh, orange bitters? Come on now. Really? As good as the smell? I know that one. I believe that one's 130. No. No way. You gotta be. There's 100 mil. It's only 140 for this, y'all. What? So it's just, it's just, I don't, 140. So what, why are you over there? What about the orange bitters? 140 for this. Right, I guess the orange bitters probably gonna be about the same too, huh? Which one's the this orange? This the orange bitters right yeah, here. Yeah, it should be the same thing. But I don't know if we have Cause it's not in a black, black bottle. Yeah, the, the black bottles are more expensive. Right, right. They're like a heavier. But these smell just as heavy, oh, though. yeah, these are good. These are good. Let me see if I... These sold so quickly. I haven't Really? Seen the orange bitters did? Or oh, both yeah. of them did? Yeah. Well, this is the last bottle. Seriously? I don't see any more bottles. Oh, so everything you have out is out? Yeah. This orange bitters right here? Wow, that's a shame. This is a hard decision right here. Oh, well, if you I, want it today, it might be easier because I'd only see this one. <laughs> I know, but I like the orange bitters so much too. Hold on. Have you guys seen any more of the orange bitter? Yeah, I don't see it. It should be all I know because it's a little cute combination. I, I think that um you like this one too. the orange bitters. I'm gonna check for just to see if we have any in stock anywhere. He was debating. He's going back and forth. Let me get you some coffee beans. <laughs> But I know. This is what I do. This is my my you know, semi profession. Are you on live? Mm hmm Are you? Out? YouTube. Oh, that's cool. They like to follow me around and watch me smell new fragrances. <laughs> I came here to smell that new one. Okay. And I come to find out they had the Zegna line out too, so I just smelled that one too. I like the green almond. Is that brand new, brand new? Brand new. It's never been sprayed? New.
you have any samples of the orange bitters? I don't, but I can make a sample of it. Look at the little thing. I'll tell you what, if you make me two samples of it, sure. I'll buy this. Make you some rain. Okay. It it's a buy. To, um, place it online. That's okay. I'm going to go with this. She's give me a couple samples of the bitters. Yeah, but I want to make them. So I can check it out. I might have to take some from the perfume people. No, it's not really sweet. You know what? The, the red currant is sweet. But the almond is almond like, you know, if you, if you put almond in anything, it's going to knock it down. Because almond really give you a woody. It's like a woody type texture. I mean, so it's like a, it's the perfect combination. She she blended this bad boy beautiful. I don't get this a while ago. I don't get this a while ago. Absolutely, and it's perfectly unisex, and especially for us. <laughs> yo, it's something wrong with you, yo. It's something wrong with y'all. Y'all crazy like that. Stop playing. I didn't, um, I'm gonna do something special for me once we get it all ready, okay? I didn't bring my, oh, here, go ahead. Yeah, I didn't bring my card, so we can just look it up. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna split it. We put a little on the card. Okay. Okay, that's fine. You might as well split the cards. Give them a little cash, put a little on the card. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do. You know what? It is open. So it's open? We can do it right here, though. Okay, okay. Yeah. She's going to go get me some little samples. Oh, she's going to do samples for us? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we have split the cards. Absolutely. Are you going to get points? Do you get the Bloomingdale's Loyalist points? Oh, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Good, because then for every $100, you get a $25 reward, so you'll get a reward in 60 days in the mail. Really? Yep. Yeah. But I got to put the 100 on my Bloomingdale's card, though. No, as long as I'm putting your phone number in right now. Oh, really? I get it? Okay, okay. Cool, cool. So what's your phone number? 215-869-3722. What y'all calling me? Can let y'all hear my phone number? That'll be bugging me. Hey, man, what, what that smell like? Yo, can you, can you, can you? No, we ain't going to have none of that. I have the sticker right here. Awesome. He's my buddies, though. He's my buddies. Uh, you can do the Bloomingdale's first, so we can just get that. That's to be the hardest part. So they still do. They still doing the point thing now. Yeah. Okay. Hit right now. Mm -hmm. Not now. Okay. And then, okay, so we do your Bloomingdale's first. Mm-hmm. Then you want me to look up your card? Yes. You need my ID, right? Please. Oh, okay. I'll still need your driver's license to put it, so. Hold on, y'all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So what's half of that? So, it's about 150. About right. Okay, yeah, we can do that. You want to do the whole thing on there then? No, 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 don't no, just split okay. it up. Yeah, yeah. So okay. one feet, so 75, 75. Okay. Or 75, 70. How do you want to do it? Oh, wait, it's just going to go right on. It just went right on your blooming nails. See, so I was saying, so I figured you would do it. It went all of it went on there? Yeah. Do you want me to cancel it? Can I cancel it? No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? I'll just go home in this. No, no, I'll go home and just put $65 on the oh, okay. Blue Girls count. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's fine. You want to sign, and mm -hmm. then I'm just going to make these samples for you. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just go home and... Yeah, sorry, I guess it's not going to let me split it when you have to look up your card. So just look and and that's what right I was away. saying, right, right. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Let me get the ID, dude. I don't want to forget oh, that. Me... Yes, no, I forget that. Because you know, I walk out, I'm getting old, I'll forget stuff in a minute. 
All right, so we picked up a purchase tonight. I wasn't supposed to, but uh, that's what happened when you come in here. Yeah, give me enough time to marinate on that. I appreciate it. And make sure you put your card in there. Oh, sure. Maybe I think I already have one of your cards. What's your name? I think I've held I know I've seen you before. Oh, definitely. Teresa. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm always in heels. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. But, um, but sometimes you come I'm, over and help. I'm never here because there's no one ever here. Never yeah. Here. I think I came to do some business with Danny. He wasn't here, and I ended up oh, doing it with you. He's so nice. Yeah, he is. Really good guy. You know, I came up here, he had a little tester for me, which is good for the new fragrance they had out, yeah. Awesome, now I gave you three of these. Is that going to work? Awesome, that's perfect. I'll just put them in you your You put that in here. there, too. Okay. Yep, and we good. Perfect. I'm telling you, this green almonds and bitter, I mean bitter, <laughs> think about the bitter one. This green almond and red currant, I'm telling y'all, this thing is something special. I can't wait to really smell the dry down on this, because I think the dry down, the almond is going to take over the red currant. It's going to give it more of a masculine flavor. And then, bam, you're going to be good to go. You're going to be able to yamin off the yamin with this. I think it was a good purchase. Yes, please, Teresa, please. Appreciate it. Oh, always good to see you guys. That's right. Between King Oppression here, you know, it's my two homes. Oh, definitely, definitely. So if you need anything from Joe Malone or, 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 or Kiehl's, anything, ask for Teresa, call the Bloomingdale's in Willow Grove, and she can ship. She can definitely ship. So all you got to do is give her your address, say Raj told you to give you a buzz. She'll remember me because I'm the guy with the strange glasses. And she'll say, look, oh, Raj, that guy, yeah. And she'll take you, might give you a sample or one. You know what I'm saying? So don't forget, Teresa, what's your last name, Teresa? Say again. Forksa. I'm only, only Teresa here. Okay, she's only Teresa here. See her? Wave. <laughs> Don't forget about Teresa. She, she hooked me up. Got me samples today. Look at this beautiful bag. And it's tied. I know. Now, my bow should have been better, but I'm not going to That's okay. That. First class all the way. Thank you, dear. I appreciate you. Have, have a great day. Nice to see you, Rob. See you again soon. Thank you all right. Thank you. And we out. Hey, let me tell you all something real quick. Another, another, uh, you, I'm telling you, if you want a good amber right here, and you don't want to spend a lot of money on the amber. This amber right here, Laura Mercy is amber. This is an amber right here. This is one of the strongest ambers I smell. I smell ambers. Y'all know I like a lot of ambers. For $65, this amber right here, man, you cannot go wrong. Especially if you're just getting into the game. You think, okay, Laura Mercy is, you know, makeup and all that stuff. Forget about it. Forget about it. How you would say it? Forget about it. Forget about that. It's about that juice. It's about that juice. It's not about that. You get that juice, you get the quality juice, no matter what it is. If, it's, it's, if it has the name on it, it says uh, Cocoa Banana, get it. If it's good, get it. Buy it, done. How is your boy? Find them out, y'all. There's nothing else I'm interested in here. But I see they do have the Muggler line. I didn't hear too much about that, too much. And they have the Juliet has a gun line. And y'all know my favorite is Midnight Oud. Y'all know I have this, Rose and Oud. This right here is good. If you want a good Rose Oud and you just get into the game, this is a perfectly soft Rose, a perfectly soft Oud. You can't, you can't beat it. You really can't beat it. it it's, all, it's really good. And the gold bottle is just, you know, another another thing that makes it pop off. And they get more Tom Fords in, so that's good. Oh, those are Oot Woods. This looks strange. What is this? Oh, it's a bath soap. I'm about to say, I never saw this box before. So they have bath soap and everything. Yeah, a bunch of Oot Woods, Oot Fleur. And of course, my dedication to Tiff to end this video for my girl Tiff. Tiff, we good. Holla.
I'm sure you've seen these, but I just want to remind you of what they look like. So you can have E buy you one of these. Say, E, take out the $900 and buy me that. You know what I'm saying? So it's the greatest showman. And I think up here, I guess it's the show woman. And it's the woman's one right here with the big box. Okay. Hi, right, y'all. Oh, check it out. Oh, this is the this is the woman's one right here. Okay, that's the show woman. All right. Well, my job is done. Oh, I can show y'all the two new bonds that just came out. This is New York Knights. That one just came out, and Gold just came out. So these are two newest ones right here. New York Knights smells like a gourmand, if you ask me. It kind of almost smells like I love New York for all, but a little bit of Manhattan. It's like a mixture of I love New York for all and Manhattan. That's if you ask me. If you don't ask me, it sprays whatever you think it smells like. And now I'm out. I got the holler. You know, it's getting darker quick. So I'm getting this car before my battery run out. Thank y'all for coming through and checking me out. I'm gonna, oh damn, I'm about to say I gotta upload this to YouTube. I ain't gotta upload this to YouTube because it's already there, right? Holla at you, boy. I'm gonna go over here and get in my car. Let's see where I parked at. Somebody got that, got that guinea. I was looking at a Lamborghini. I'm sorry, not Lamborghini, I'm sorry, the Maserati Ghibli. That's this joint right here. This bad boy is loud. I just drove this bad boy. Oh my goodness. 440 horsepower. I just didn't like the warranty plan. Wasn't quite the warranty I was looking for. No, I didn't have that BMW warranty plan. You know what I'm saying? Didn't, didn't, we ain't, we ain't getting down like that. Yeah, so now we get ready to uh, go to my whip. My nice, simple little car. A nice little BM. You know what I'm saying? Get on in. It's chilly out here, y'all. I'm glad I ate already. Put all my bags and everything. You know what I'm saying? Holler at your boy. Ah. Woohoo! So we made a purchase tonight. We got another one coming in, too. I got a fragrance coming in. I'll let that be a surprise when it gets here. And I said I was going to calm down, but, uh, oh, no, it's not strong in the Amber Absolute. Well, check out my video, my top, uh, I don't know if it was top, you know, I don't do that countdown stuff too much, but it might have just been my favorite Ambers that was in my collection. Now, I don't think I did a countdown. And the Laurie Mercier was, uh, like in the top 15, I think. I didn't put that in the top 15. I mean, it's definitely strong. It's not an Amber Absolute, not at all. But it's definitely strong. My man coming over, he's picking up some Amber Absolutes for me tomorrow. I don't really mess around my Amber Absolute. I really don't get that out. But my homie, he real good with me, man. We kind of tight, so I'm going to go ahead and give him a little bit of sniff on that. You know what I'm saying? Left rear, that was it, bro. I think. Hold on. Why are these little cars? You know what? Little cars remind me of little dogs. They always want to kind of mess with the bigger cars. It's like, seriously, really? Really? You just could not wait, and I need to turn around. I don't know why I always get turned around here. Little, little cars always try to bark at bigger cars. It's like, really? You need to relax with that, yo. You need to relax. So I got to put my power, my power thing in here? Oh, it is in here. Okay, cool. You got to get out of here. Yeah, I know, I know, the ding, ding, ding is on. I know, I know, I can't get to it yet. When I get to the light, I'll put my seatbelt on. I'm just trying to get out this complex right now real quick. But I get turned around when I do that. Go home, take a shower, and put on that, that green almond and red currant yamin up on my skin as I drink some yamin. It's called a night. Thank the heavenly for getting me here and getting me back. Throw that belt on in a second. Got to drive slope around here. Right now I'm in Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. Or Willow Grove, PA. I didn't even call it Willow Grove. 
really it's, it's like the suburbs of Philly. There's Willow Grove and we got the mall over there. We got Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Cheesecake Factory, bada bing, bada boom. This is considered Willow Grove. Then that light right there where everybody turning that will be going to his Jenkintown. We got to set the bus. That's the company I work for, but I don't drive buses anymore. I just be chilling. Holla at your boy. Need to get that Grammy, man. Need that Grammy nomination. So I shout out to the Grammy members. I need that Grammy nomination. I hope y'all voted for me. Hope y'all voted for that Two Faces CD. I just want the nomination. So I can get them free tickets. <laughs> That's all. I don't have to pay for the after party. I don't have to pay for admission to get in. All I want to do is come to that bad boy and like, yo. And a nomination at the best jazz instrumental CD goes to Roger, real deep cool. Yeah, hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? Practice my speech, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, vegan sausages, nah, not tonight, bro. I grabbed, um, man, I grabbed something from, 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 from the Asian store, man. I grabbed some Asian grub. I grabbed some, um, I grabbed some crab sticks and a spring roll tonight, yeah. Friday nights, I don't cook. I don't, I don't come home and cook. I don't like getting off at 7 o'clock and having to cook because I'm really hungry by that time. I don't drink all these waters and uh, apple and my smoothie and all that stuff. By 6 o'clock, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Really? They got nominations? What they got nominations for? I didn't know they did music. Tiffany got nominations. Oh, oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. Nomination for best dating video or best waiting in the car for E to get in the car video because he's late. The only two I saw. The video in the restaurant and the video where she's waiting for him in the car and then he started driving and I couldn't take it no more. I had to cut it off. Anyway, yo, don't play, man. They cool, man. People keep telling me to leave them alone. I ain't messing with them, yo. I am not messing with them in any form, fashion, way. Not at all. I don't mess with people. I like to have fun. You know, you know, you know, man. I know what you were saying, bro. I was just kidding with you. Now, you were slow to find out that I was just messing around with you. Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, man. Come on, that. Come on, that. They should get some awards, though. They can get the award for best going out on a date and not reviewing the fragrance videos. They get the best award for that because that's the last thing I saw. I ain't seen nobody have a Yo, if I go out with a homegirl who just called me, who I usually go out with, who went to New York with me, who went to Bloomingdale's with me last time, she was calling me while I was, you know, Living with y'all, she was calling me, but I couldn't answer the phone. When me and her go out, we go out, we sniff, we talk fragrance. She ain't even into fragrances. She's not even a fragrance reviewer. She just like to smell good, and I turned her into the cage, and now she hooked. When I turn people into the cage, it's a rat, dog. Must start, must start a yo, dog. I, yo, dog. I gotta have it. My man was like, I'm getting rid of these designers, dog. We got rid of them too. I sold them today. So we got rid of his designers. We got rid of all his designers. We got rid of all of them. We got rid of the last three today. My man in Vancouver, Washington, bought them bad boys. He said, man, all these designers got to go. I got to buy me some good juice. Holla at you, boy. So that's what it is. That's what it's about. That's how we do. So if y'all ever come to Philly, if you're my friend, let me know you're coming. You know, we might go back in the studio, make a track, drink some Yamein, make a, make a fragrance track. That'll be the intro. Time for it. The boom. Amp absolute. Boom. Gotta have that. With some iron watch in a loop band. Ah, boom. Boom. The boom. The boom, boom, boom. A longevity. Boom, boom. A too slow. Boom, too long. Boom, too short. Ah, uh, boom. Oh, I'm out, man. Let me stop playing. Uh, check out my page, man. Go to my Facebook page. R O D G E R. Do I drive a Ford Taurus? No, I don't buy it. I told you, saw what I drove. We walked up to the car. We walked up. I don't drive a Ford Taurus. I don't. 
I'm not going to drive a Ford Taurus. They don't even make that no more. I wouldn't even drive a Ford Taurus for a hoopty. Because it might be my main car. Pa! What? Huh? Anyway. Yo. My sign is stop. Nikita. Stop. That's my sign. But it's up to you to be go. Say go boy. Your sign is go boy. I be like, nah, girl, my name is Stop, girl. You be like, no, no, your name is Go Boy. I'm like, yo, yo, you need to start calling me boy. Don't be calling me boy. I'm talking about some Go Boy. My sign, I'll tell you what, I'm not into astrology, but I do realize what my month of birth is. And that would be July. I was brought onto this planet by the heavenly July, in the middle of July, long time ago. Long time ago. How is your boy? What? Yeah, middle of July. I'm not gonna give you my birth date. Next you know you want my social security number, then you want my license number, and then you're gonna want anything. then you wanna come over, then you wanna get in the studio, then you're gonna wanna do some tracks. Who's a, what's a cancer? Who that? Don't say cancer. I'm a crab. And I pinch. I'm a pinching crab. What? That's what I do. What's your sign? What is your sign? Since you want to get to my sign, Nikita. Nikita, seriously. You live in Philly? You live close by? We're going to make a song about signs. Since you seem to like signs. We're going to go in the studio, make up a track. Now, back in the day, they had a track. Oh! I heard about Scorpios and Cancers, yo. Scorpios and Cancers? What? Ain't that right? Did you read the book? I had a friend of mine. She had a compatibility book with her signs. And she was a Scorpio. And she was like, Scorpios and Cancers make great mates. And they get along just fine. That's why we ain't together no more. But we still talk, actually, after all these years. What, what, what a, here we go. Here you go talking about some Tiff. Come on, Memento. Tiff, Tiff, if you see this video, it's not me. It's that ball, Memento. Is that a ball? Well, I don't know who it is. It said Memento. And he keeps talking about you. Tiff is going to get an Oscar for her role as Frag Reviewer. Tiffany will get a will, Tiffany can get an Oscar. She can. You're right as a frag reviewer. She does. Because she does act like a frag reviewer. <laughs> what? Did he just say that? Did he, yo, you did it cuz you said she was going to get an Oscar as a frag reviewer. And I agree. She acts like a frag reviewer. Very Good, very good. I'm glad somebody recognized that somebody needs an award for these uh, frag reviews sometimes. No, I'm just kidding, Tiff. I know, I'm, I, I gotta stop. I gotta stop, man. Heavenly told me to be loving and caring about people, man. I gotta stop. Really, real talk. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. But I do say, look, I would like to meet Tiff. I don't need to meet E. But I would like to meet Tiff. I would like to sit down and talk to Tiff. And I like to sit down and talk to her about fragrances. I like to sit down and talk about her about her approach as to how she how she goes about her technique in dealing with fragrances. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by it's like for me, I got like a billion samples of fragrances because I'm always studying. I'm always trying to figure out what's a good fragrance for this, what's a good fragrance for that. And stuff like that. So I got a lot of samples. So I put, I put the work in, man. I, I put the work in. I don't know if anybody else putting the work in. I think a lot of people putting the work in on doing videos. But nobody's putting the work in when, when nobody's looking. I don't think nobody... I got to put some gas in the car, by the way. Nobody's putting the work in when it comes to, like, you know, really, really taking the time on a day. I take my fragrances to work every day. I take my samples to work every day. 
Ain't supposed to be pumping gas with this phone on, yo. Hold on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I see y'all y'all tailing off. I understand that. That's all good. All right, and I'm, I'm getting ready to tail off too. I'm out. Yo, look here. Nothing against Tiff, nothing against E, man. I'm just having fun. We having fun. You know what I mean? Tiff, Tiff is, is a good reviewer. I don't think she's one of the better reviewers out there. I think she's a good reviewer. And, uh, oh, Lost Connection? All right, that's cool. All right, man, I got to be out anyway because I'm pumping this gas and I don't want to be, you know, messing around and getting blown up. Freaking gas station. Mess around with y'all. I'm out, y'all. Y'all have a great weekend, man. And, uh, heaven willing, I'll see you Sunday. Uh, but I'll upload this video, uh, you know, as soon as I get home, all right? I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all be well. Be well.